It's Tuesday the 26th of May, about three months after we've moved into the house and um, yeah, we've been doing small bits and pieces around the place but mainly where well, the first month or so just relaxing and then getting stuff done in the garden and then cleaning out the barn here, well actually it needs to be cleaned out again because uh, we had a brew day on Sunday with a bunch of people around and well, frankly I wasn't in the mood for cleaning up after that. Um, but I thought I'd give a little run through of some of the mini projects that we're going to embark on and maybe even finish this year and uh, one of them is in the former cow stalls that were built on the side of the barn in 1960 and uh, yeah I mean, this is quite a big room it's 12 meters long by five meters wide yeah that's about it and uh, two and a half meters high so it's a, a decent space and um, the idea here would be to turn this into a, a workshop for me, uh, which sounds very selfish. So that's such a nice big lump of space. But uh, yeah, somewhere where I can start or continue my new hobby of woodworking and also a, a permanent place to brew, get a water supply in, uh, get drainage out into the, uh, the sewage system at the back. And uh, yeah, the main thing is to decide what to do with uh, the, the stuff that's in here already. So. Uh, this was full of iron bars and stuff for the for the cows and this feeding trough it's nearly a meter wide so that's a big amount of space that's uh, been taken away from the width and one thing i'd love to do is just borrow a hilti from my neighbor my makita just isn't up to it and uh, just hack all of that out and then because the floor has a slight slope on it for drainage you know from all the, the shit and piss when the cows were in here which drained out into it like a uh, what's it called a tank basically out of the front of the barn and um, yeah I think it's still there actually but it's covered over by plants and stuff now but because of that slope I'd love to get rid of it but that that's going to be a major job so to, to rip all that out so first thing I'm going to do is get rid of the, the feeding trough and uh, these feeding troughs here uh, are concrete actually except this one which is filled with bits of wood at the moment that's sandstone and we're going to obviously keep that and put it outside and you know, do what everybody does and put flowers in it. Uh, so that's, yeah, one mini project. The, the work uh, shop and come brewery. And it's maybe low on the list because it's purely for hobby purposes. Uh, but yeah, we've got bits of equipment and, you know, a, a planer that we're going to share. Well, share, I shouldn't say that. Uh, a neighbor of ours has very kindly offered to uh, house his very large table plane here uh, on the condition that he can use it whenever he wants because it's huge and taking up a lot of space and that's of course absolutely fine it means i don't have to buy one and i just need to buy things like a table saw and uh, yeah get the place kitted out but i've got lots of equipment that needs to be housed somewhere and i don't want it to be sitting in the cellar the whole time so that's uh, yeah mini project one let's say in in no particular order uh, let's take a quick look at some of the other mini projects Mini Project 2 is probably the most important because it's to get a new front door and this is something we have to do, we must do this um, preferably before autumn comes in um, but we've got some things to decide here so the original door was removed, I don't know when, probably the 80s and replaced with this aluminium monstrosity and in that process they took out the entire wall and rebuilt it so the sandstone frames are gone so we've choices to make whether or not to um, yeah, basically put in a refit sandstone frames in there. We have a friend who very kindly sourced them for us, but I'm just afraid it's gonna be a lot of work when I'd rather just get stuff done quickly and then, you know, mold the plaster so it looks like sandstone and paint it. But that's one important thing to do because when we moved in, um, in February, it was still pretty cold. It was like minus 20 and uh, the whole cellar area is still open. So the, um, yeah, there goes the light. So they uh, no doors into the vaulted cellars, and uh, well, I'm going to come to the next beer cellar because that's also did I say beer cellar? Next vaulted cellar. Uh, that's another mini project. Uh, but because of that, uh, the cold was basically coming up, so that door is just dreadful. Uh, so we hung this kind of painter's uh, fleece for you know, they lay down on the ground uh, to, just to act as a curtain to stop too much cold coming up because you could feel it. Uh, so we think that once we get a, a new door fitted in, 
and uh, then also down here then the walls would need to be insulated and I've laid empty pipes coming down as well for the wall heating so we have a little bit of heating down here just to kind of temper the temper the hall a little bit and uh, once you get a new front door door for the cellar and the door uh, into the next cellar area this will close off this area and uh, hopefully make it a bit more cozy and of course repointing the uh, the stone wall here um, the last untouched cellar is behind that door uh, that door has been closed for a while I have a G clamp on it because uh, <laughs> I knocked the handle off when demolishing the ceiling above uh, so that can stay the way it is for quite a long time as far as I'm concerned main thing is seal this place off uh, get a new door uh, so it's a bit more cozy and uh, yeah airtight let's say and that's mini project number two which is should be one and it's going to probably be the most expensive mini project three uh, I kind of gave the game away so I'm uh, just in the entry hall here and if we go through this set of curtains be laid and uh, setter three as we've been calling it uh, also has a vaulted cellar behind it and this would be the beer cellar so beer cellar is mini project number three and really here we already ripped the floor out it was a crappy concrete floor and um, yeah we didn't do much else we had other priorities it's kind of like a beer cellar it's got beer in it and there's some old apple juice which probably started fermenting and uh, it's in relatively good nick the walls are a bit dirty so that one isn't too bad um, I I don't think I did any uh, work with the sandblaster here I think maybe a little bit but because uh, this wall for example there's lots of loose plaster um, sandblasting this was just uh, yeah, I did sandblast it uh, it was just dreadful because uh, you couldn't see a thing poof and it was just plaster everywhere so I need to hack that off by hand uh, then use a angle grinder with a brush a steel brush attachment to clean off the stones see what it looks like and uh, yeah repoint where necessary but otherwise just clean the place up and uh, get a new floor down lots of ideas about the floor I'm not going to go into it now uh, but just want it to be breathable and look nice and uh, we've got power in here from above uh, put in some shelves put in a fridge a kegerator if I buy kegs for the homebrew and uh, yeah this is another one close to my heart because uh, I like beer so mini project number three. Mini project number four is to do with the outside. Uh, so I'm going from the kitchen out to the back. And if uh, anyone has been following the blog from the past, uh, just looking at the photos or maybe even some of the videos from the tours, uh, this whole area was, was excavated uh, three years ago and uh, a rainwater cistern put underneath. Um, so we decided to level all of this off. It was, you can see the line on the uh, the old pigsty there, the ground was up to that height. And we thought it made sense to excavate it out so that we'd have a, an area for a patio. So mini project number four is to do something with the patio. Because of the earth there, we need to put some sort of retaining wall, preferably with um, yeah dry stone, I think it'd be nice, either sandstone or uh, limestone would be nice. Uh, this is limestone area, but this Quite a lot of lime or sandstone buildings, so it might be nice. So to build a wall, basically uh, coming down here past the heat pump, and uh, it gets quite high. So it's one and a half meters, I guess, on the left-hand side. And uh, maybe we get a bit creative and put a, a, a wood oven in there. And meanwhile, up on the gutter there, a little black red start is giving out to me because they've got chicks that have just uh, fled the nest a few days ago and they're still feeding them and uh, they give out to us every time we come out here but anyway um, yeah building the wall and uh, that would be mini project number four and I don't think we'd have enough uh, funds to do anything beyond that this year but the next stage would then obviously be to, to pave this place so it's not a complete kip and then I can move on to mini project number five uh, so this was the old pigsty let me just get in here and uh, a couple of weeks ago, um, this was full with, um, well, some of the stuff was still there. Um, it was a chicken coop, actually, and there was chicken wire here and doors. So I've kind of taken that out. Uh, we've left the stalls on the left that used to be for pigs. Left them there just in case you get animals. But 
Mini project number five is more about getting this place sorted out. So maybe redoing the floor, there's a, there's a step there. Um, getting a water supply in, maybe putting in a toilet. So I, I had all sorts of dreams for this building. But frankly, it's just too much. So maybe in about five or ten years, uh, we, we might do a little bit more with this and turn it into a garden room. The second floor upstairs, I'd love to knock through and put a, actually a stairs in. But at the moment, we have to go around the back. Um, but to do something with this to make it like a glorified potting shed or, <laughs> or something like that. Uh, so my wife's been cleaning it out and got a really nice job. And uh, well, you know, all the gardening stuff is going to start coming here. But just to do something with it uh, so that it's uh, a bit more maintained. There's a few rotten things need to be replaced. So that's kind of uh, mini project number five, but that's probably lowest on the list right now. Staying outside, mini project number six, which should be mini project perhaps N, because it's going to be uh, something definitely for the long, long finger, is to do something uh, a bit more with the, with the with the land or garden, whatever you want to call it, behind. So um, here we are behind the barn, and from the time of the yeah, the heavy works, let's say, laying pipes and stuff at the back of the house, there's still piles of earth. We've got a, a big hole down there with that pipe sticking out, uh, which will bring water into the back of the barn. But there's a massive hole there that needs to be filled. Uh, up at the back behind the, the trees there, there's more piles of earth, which are yeah, just a pain in the ass. So, Mini Project 6 is really about a bit of landscaping, I guess. Um, need to spread some of that stuff out. I want to build a couple of, uh, let's say, terraces, uh, with whatever kind of stones we get to uh, kind of manage the slopes and be able to distribute that earth a little bit better. But what's really interesting is um, we spotted, or well, my wife, the keen eyed archaeologist, uh, spotted over. Well, you won't see anything now, so the horses haven't been in, so the grass is really high. But there's a series of old terraces uh, in our spot of land here, sloping down towards the creek. And uh, we thought it was just the way the land is, but with the horses being on it last year, they eroded edges of those and lines of stone became visible. So we think this was a you know, so-called Weinberge. Um, where they had you know, limestone terracing where they plant the grape vines because there was vines uh, in this area in the past and uh, part of mini project 6 would be to do a, also an excavation a bit of an archaeological excavation uh, to expose a section of that to see how deep they are how well preserved it is and if it looks any good then uncovering the whole lot so that we expose then these uh, limestone terraces there's two of them at least um, there may be more but that's uh yeah that's kind of a nice kind of want to have um and maybe next year uh we'll get animals of our own uh, to manage the grass um so it's quite a nice meadow with flowers and stuff but it's a pain in the ass if you want to be mowing it all the time but the neighbor has his horses in it's great but uh, it'd be nice to have our own stuff in there either for as pets or as meat supplies i don't know uh, but that's again something for next year not to mention having hops growing there so that's yeah mini project six on this list but probably way further down the list when it, when it comes to actually doing stuff and i I think for this list, uh, mini project number seven, probably the last really, uh, but it's probably one that would re in reality would be higher on the list. So I'm on the second floor and heading up towards the you know, Spitzboden, as they call it, the kind of attic space, uh, which has been untouched for quite a while. So uh, we ripped out the floor here and uh, all the beams are cleaned and it's insulated and we even have wall heating installed here. So it's, my office was supposed to be here actually. Um, but yeah, this was on the long finger, but we kind of need storage space, so we don't have dry cellars. The cellars are a little bit um, damp, let's say. Uh, so for storing things like winter clothes or um, you know Christmas decorations, you know the stuff that you normally need to store somewhere, we're not using it. And yeah, we've even we have less storage space than we used to because our uh, living room uh, furniture doesn't fit. It's too high, so we're we're missing presses and stuff like that. So we're just kind of stashing a lot of stuff up here, just in boxes at the moment. So the mini project here would be to uh, get a, a floor down, so put lats down, uh, maybe some OSB sheets, just as a kind of an underfloor. And uh, yeah, if we're feeling luxurious, perhaps uh, do some cladding there with uh, yeah plasterboard or whatever, uh, just to close it off and keep it clean. 
But this is something that we'd like to do just to yeah get that done. So that might be something for, for autumn when it's starting to get a bit cooler outside and I don't really want to be doing work in the garden and stuff. This might be a nice job to do then. So that's kind of the list of current mini projects. There's other things to do like um, getting internal doors. We still don't have internal doors. But again, that's not that important. I think uh, if we get them before autumn, I'd be quite happy. Um, but pl plenty to keep me going. So uh, yeah, we're checking progress. See how far I get with some of these things and uh, see how many are just pipe dreams. Uh, but yeah, stay tuned.